hey stampers gainer again and i was mentioned in the last video uh well my sketch 30 video that i've seen a lot of the, the theater slash stage cards um tutorials going around so i thought i'd give it a go i'm not going to decimate my as such as adding an embellishment rob but i'm going to add the dsp um i'm going to leave the actual decorating of the old theater card to yourselves because not everybody's got the same stamp sets as me or the same die cuts that I've got. So I will decimate mine and add little things on there. But I just want to show you the mechanism of how to make it. I've used 12 by 12. You can use 11 by 8.5 um, and still get the same result. You just would score in a different area. Um, but I, th I thought you've got to keep it equal. So if I did it out of my A4 cardstock, which is 11 and 5 eighths. Uh, which then takes it down to five and seven eighths and then trying to score that will take it down to the 16th So I just thought round it off to six inches. So one piece of 12 by 12 does it all And you only need a couple of sheets of DSP believe it or not. So You're gonna cut one of your card stocks to four and a quarter by 12 Like I'm saying you can do eight and a half by 11 and then just score at two and three quarters and what have you and, and, and five and a half or whatever. Um, then you're going to need two pieces which are four and a quarter by six because so, you've got to keep everything level. I've already matted and taken my square out which I've got two now so I can use these on different cards. We're not going to use those unless you want to use that for the centre piece then you'd have to trim it down. But I'll just use these on two different cards. And this is the front. Oh, let me show you the theatre card first. It works like this. And then you open it up and ta-da! You can add things here, back, on here. Um, and yeah, there's three sections where you can add things on. And then it just simply folds flat. This is six by four and a quarter but would still fit in a standard size envelope so it's just I've, I've seen about 10 videos maybe 12 maybe more on these cards at the moment and some are using four lots of paper well most of them all use four lots of paper but i thought why have we got to cut this down even more just to ta attach it back on so i'm leaving that off as it is you're gonna fetch your score tool in And on this one, we're going to score where I can find my score tool. Well, there you are. Uh -huh. You're going to score this at three and four and a half. And then on the long piece, you're going to score at six, four and a half, and three. Simple. Because this is going to fold back here. Then this is going to fold back here, and this is going to fold back here. And then, uh, let me just work this out right. That's, that's right, that's going to fold that way, sorry. So, this is going to fall onto itself and stay like that. So, you're going to glue this section down. In on itself like so making sure that they're all the lines meet up and then this is oh goodness that this it's so warm in this room tonight I don't know why this isn't sticking very well normally it sticks like crazy maybe because I've got let me just move this out of the way one more time uh, let me cut that on there. That's it, get that again. Right, now this piece, you've got two small pieces. I've cut these to five and a quarter by five eighths. These are your measurements anyway. There you go, there's your card stuck. And what you're going to do, that one. And you're only going to score one of them at three and four and a half. And then 
because your the other one is your front. You want two at five and a quarter by five eighths and one at six by one. And then we're going to score the two ones with the five eighths. Just score them half an inch at one end and leave the other one half an inch and leave. And then this one, you're going to score this at quarter of an inch both ends. In fact, you're going to just score it at quarter of an inch on all four sides. And that's going to be your little bar inside. So just score that at a quarter of an inch all round. So with this piece, we're actually going to score this like this fold it in on itself so you're making a box and then you would have had two pieces if you'd have done it the way I've been watching people do this and then that gets glued right on the end so you've only got to glue one piece down so when these come together they form that gatefold in the center Ah, we should have, no, no, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. So then attach these. And then check it that it's coming together. Perfect. This is going to go on the top after. So that's where we fold them up. We're going to attach our little legs first on here. Then we're going to punch our holes so we can grab these pieces through both of them. So for your DSP, you need two at four and one eighth by one and three eighths. You need three at four and one eighth by two and seven eighths. And the, the one for the front is four and one eighth by five and seven eighths. And I've already, like I say, cut that through. So just determine now where you're gonna well these are gonna go in here. I just wanted to leave it a neutral paper as well so you could see all the components together and get this theatre fold card. And then you can add any embellishments you want. You can use sweet little animals, you could use flowers, any sentiment you want. It's entirely up to you. So I'm going to put the, my wood grain because the pattern's going the wrong way anyway. Going in the back. And you can do a bigger border if you want to. And now my writing's going the right way. So I'm going to... attach these. This card is coming together so quickly. I've seen people faff around with it so much and I was like oh my god just so many people I've watched and it's just so quick uh, and that's so much so quick they just take the time can't understand the word saying can't see half of what they were doing and I couldn't tell you the original um, creator of this card was, but I'm sure it's been done about, there we go, you've got the smallest of gap, but that is perfect, I know, that is right on the end, that is right on the end. All we need to do now is, I'm using the, my mat, just so I don't cut through that, and I'm going to use a piece of hard stock and I'm gonna literally put this in fetch in my craft knife and you can use a pen for this and marker if you want it's entirely up to you I'm literally just gonna come in about a quarter of an inch maybe half an inch I'm gonna come up I'm gonna probably go about one dot across and then I'm gonna start it from, see the way the quarter inch line is? Oh, let me put it on that side. 
I know uh, I'm going to come in like that one whole dot and I want to come in one and a quarter so I want to cut an inch that's what I'm going from the end of the ruler to the 11 making sure I've got one whole Oops, I can't cut a straight line for a toppy, me. Just make sure we've gone right through. Yeah, perfect. And then flip it. Put it back under my there. And again, because you want to come in one square. I don't know why I'm using a ruler. Because, like I say, so I'm going back out. So it's got the same distance. If you want to mess around and... Now I'm going to take this and oh, one. Oh god, that's a bit too far. That's that one full circle, and I'm just going to cut and I'm going to come up a quarter of an inch. That's right. I'm going to cut from the quarter of an inch all the way up to eleven and a quarter, or just over. Just make sure we cut right through. And if not, I'm just going to tuck it back in here. Get from behind and you can see. Right, that's it. Just make sure you've got your slits. And then for safety, Put your top back on so oof. now if you use a bone folder you can push that paper straight so it doesn't even look like you've got a slit anymore now with this this is the six inch you're gonna literally cut up there that in or up and then remove that long strip and then I'm going to repeat this side those bits now so you're going to just tuck those in and thread them through your little hole and what I did was I glued that right on the end And then this side, you're going to do the same, poke it through. And I'm just going to glue that on the edge. got a little section there for when you add your things right now this is the best important bit not the best but an important stage where we've start, um, folded these at half an inch you're going to fold them over you are going to glue this right at the bottom of your card just at the bottom though or you can do it at the top let's do it at the top I'll show you what why so we doesn't really make any odds which way round we've got this. So let's just write there. 
and we're going to leave that section a minute whilst we glue this one. Fold that back and again you're going to glue this up the top so it's level. Give that a sec to go off. And you're wondering what you're, what you're going to do with them. Do, 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 do. <laughs> right, now stand your card up. You're going to fetch this in close together and just close that. It's just a little come off a little bit. Right. This is going over. Hence the reason I'm not going to. Uh, decorate so now we need to wrap this around and fold it over gently so it's not too tight I know you can have a little bit poking out the bottom but it's inevitable Don't try squashing it down, just do it so it's gentle. So then this piece can slide in and out gently. That's what you want. And then we're going to repeat that on this side. Hold the two together. Fetch this round. And then just gently bend that over. And then gently just bring the two together. Don't worry if that's like I say poking out. So what I did, I turned mine round so you couldn't see them at the bottom. Yeah, so level it was perfectly level at the top you can see them poking out of the t at the bottom little tiny bit but you can then use that as like a little foot stand oh it's upside down anyway so mine are at the top oh well never mind ours are at the bottom this time and the hens there right now we need to unthread just for a second Do one at a time. Grab your little one inch circle punch. Eyeball it roughly in the middle and punch. And then you can slot this back in because you need to be able to grip this section. I can't grip that when it's all the way in there because there's nothing to grab. So now we feed that one out. Again, roughly go halfway in centre and pop that out. You can then feed this back in. And now you go, oh, I'm upside down again. And then because our card lays flat. Now you can decorate just how you like. And you've got somewhere now to grab and open. And there's that little stand. There is a... Uh... And there's your theatre come stage card. You can add stuff on the back. You can add something on here and you can add something on here. I'm just trying to think. Let me get um, But how cute is that? And it's loose. You don't want it to be too tight. Most people kept their back bar not glued down, so it was just free. But I just wanted to pin it down out of the way. You can add things on the inside. You can add, like I say, there and there. I'm just going to see if I can grab something to hand. Let's do some, see what uh, things I've got close to hand. 
Let's see what it is. Oh, it's a treat bag. Oh, well, a treat bag, what's that for? You've got a spider there. This is the sweet treat. Um, let me grab my scraps bin. <laughs> Like I say, it was just to show you how to make the mechanism and without having to cut it, your pieces down to four when you can just keep one attached. And oh, my coffee has gone absolutely freezing. And you'll get this much left after a 12 by 12. If you did it by 11 by eight and a half, you would have no spare. You'd have to get extra then for your other bits. But doing it from the 12 by 12 gets it all. So I'm just going to cut one of these lovely little circles out. Oh, that's pretty. Like I say, um, that's the one we, this is the one we just made. I can attach that now. Whoops. To that little bar. See, so it pops up you want to lay flat and then the recipient opens it up you've got some pop-up mechanism as well as uh, let me do another one let's cut I don't know what I'm going to cut the I think that's the crystal oh, yeah, that's a ring let's cut that out showing you just so you where that I where you can decorate basically so you can decorate here where else I don't know what that is but let's cut it out anyway you can also decorate back here as well so it's just giving you like the three options of dimension for when you play around and what's up with that now oh, that's coming off <laughs> so and then there it is folded flat you can add like I'm saying embellishments all round and on your little stem so you just got loads of oh, sorry so you got loads of dimension Why is it so dark in here? My goodness. It's not actually dark in here. It's the light outside is so bright. So there we go. I just wanted to show you that technique. So let me hold the card up again. And there are your measurements. The four and a quarter by 12. And on the long side, you're gonna score in the center at six, four and a half and three. And then you're gonna score you're going to need two pieces at four and a quarter by six and one of them you will score at three and four and a half or one and a half and three it's entirely up to you and then two pieces at five and a quarter by five eighths and score them at half an inch one end one end 
and then you're going to fold and secure the other end and then this one at six by one and you're going to score a quarter of an inch on all four sides and then remove the two inner long bars so you've got uh, that mechanism going on and then the DSP one at four and an eighth by five and seven eighths, three at four and one eighth by two and seven eighths, and two at four and one eighth by one and three eighths. Simple, simple, simple. And then it's up to you how you decorate. So there we go. There's my quick tutorial on the theatre slash stage card. And using lesser amounts of paper. Well, it's not lesser amounts of paper, it's just lesser amounts of cuts. Try leaving it whole or at least two sections there so there we are there we are even let me grab an envelope see i keep getting the right beside me now and not across the way <laughs> so this is a standard say it's c6 envelope and that is going to fit in there perfect absolutely perfect I would love to show, oh, oh I do, I could suppose, can I cut 12 by 12? And there we go, perfect fits, lovely every time. And it's pretty flat as well. Okay, why did you, that's right, take it apart. So yeah, it fits in that, even a six by one, it even stands. And look at the way it stands up, so cute. Love it, love it, love it. I think I might have to lower my light a bit. Oh, that's better. Yay! There we go. And it does fit in a normal size envelope. <sighs> Gas bagging again. <laughs> I'm going to have to play this little set. I haven't uh, had a play with it yet. So, watch this space. Little 10 minute uh, video there coming up, maybe. Get some nice little designer series paper on the go. Check the battery. Perfect. So you'll need a, uh, a, your trimmer, scoreboard, pen. Uh, you can use a pencil and a ruler if you want, uh, a craft knife, a bone folder, and some DSP and a pair of scissors. And then you can decorate how you like. <laughs> oh, and you want into circle punch. So there we go. Thank you for watching. I hope you understood that a lot bit easier than some of the videos I watched <laughs> but it's simple it looks complicated and it's not it's really really simple so I might even go away and decorate these one of these up now and make it look spanking as that instead of just putting bits on that you can just see so don't forget the thumbs up the share and uh, subscribe button and the bell and I'll see you on the other side thank you for watching Bye.